I, I saw you reminded me because you said you took MDMA two weeks ago. And I also saw a part of a video that you put out about a bad MDMA experience, or at least that was the title. Is that the same experience, the video from a few days ago? Yeah, we hadn't the- done it for like four years or years. I don't know. It's been years since we last yeah. done it. We used to abuse it like heavily, really, really bad. And that's part of why I feel a bit strongly about the stuff because I, I've, it can get so dark, that stuff. And I've seen a very, very out of control drug culture in the UK. And I know that stuff like these Leah Betts Just Say No campaigns, they just bounce off your fucking head like that. Mm. And those kinds of people, the people I know who were worse, who were staying up for like three or four days, just fucking their brains up for life, just, just you know, destroying their receptors and shit. And sometimes this can be almost a fate worse than death to be honest for some of those people the way that people get from it is so yeah. bad and so tragic to be around and uh anyway yeah we were really out of control with it and it had a very bad effect on our lives and on our brains and we stopped for years i feel though that used responsibly i feel it's a really powerful and good substance and we 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 for years we didn't want to do it again and then we thought like we're adults now <clears throat> and we're a lot more mature and we're definitely not going to abuse it so we took it again after like four years and it was really good. We had an amazing time. The after effects were very minimal. It was really good. And we had a little bit left and we thought like it's only a very small amount left because we've done most of it and it's going to be too hot to do it soon. It's not good to do it in the sun. It cooks your brain, you know, and it's, it's better to yeah. do it. So we just thought we'll do this and then we won't do it again for like a year. We weren't even being fiendish. It was like, we've got this, we're planning our weekends, we'll get this one out of the way and then we'll just do shrooms or whatever next time. And yeah. it wasn't even like, you know, there wasn't a desperation. It wasn't an addict's mindset at all. Um, it was just stupid. We thought, well, it was great last time, so we'll do it again like a month later. And it was really bad. And so many of the bad effects came back. And it, just after one extra usage of it, you know, mm. all of these... Symptoms, and there was a month, a, a month, month in between. between. And we Damn. used to do it sometimes at the weekend you know one back week to back after. weekends yeah yeah and that shit like it it, it was eye-opening because i look back and i'm like man we were so damaged from that and so broken and and suffering mentally and our personalities and that's why i said and mentioned I've, sometimes i see these people who are on drugs 24 7 and i think like that's not really who they are and it's their fault it's their choice you have to make them responsible but it's not really who they are like the people who are t- t- taking all this meth and shit, doing like crazy things, like, and uh, everybody made it doesn't have that kind of effect on you, but the kind of person you become, and the negativity, and the depression, and the anger, and all this shit, and the dysfunction, um, you think that that's who you are. You start to just think that's who you are as a person, and that if anything, the drugs mm-hmm. are helping you. And it was really interesting in a way to be like, wow, man, like we used to live like this, like because it happened the other day yeah. or a week or two ago, and we were like, right. It's going to be, a, you know, if we do it again, six months or so and a lot more preparation, do all of these supplements leading up to it and definitely not one month after the other and probably yeah. wait a very long time before doing it again, if if ever. But back then we would just compound the problem by doing it more and more and more and uh, it gets really bad. And you don't have anyone to really listen to, you know, who can tell you like, I can see what you're doing and I know what you're doing because yeah. I did it and it's bad and it's, you know, I, I, I promise you that it doesn't have to be like this and whatever. Um, so it was fine really, but yeah, for a couple of days felt fucking awful and it reminded me of being that age and it reminded me of, um, of what a bad state you can get into. And, uh, yeah, and it, it, you said it was a smaller amount too the second time, right? Which is smaller interesting amount. that it had such a, a worse hangover than the first time with a smaller amount of MDMA. Yeah, I mean, I think the the people should follow the three month rule, like never do it more than once in three in three month period. Yeah, and there's also the first time we did it in this recent period, we did it this we did this thing called NAC. We took loads of NAC in the like month mm. or so leading up to it. And it has a pretty amazing effect somehow. I don't know. It like it like resets your tolerance and does all this crazy shit. And with the second time around, we didn't bother doing that. We didn't really do our due diligence. We didn't sleep well at all. Um, but the night before, so it had, yeah, it was really bad. And it was interesting, yeah, yeah, to show in fact a perfect dichotomy. Right? There's like the right way to do drugs and the wrong way to do them, and yeah. the outcomes are so different that it's so stupid to position though. Like I'm sure you know people, right? And it probably being in uh 
depends on the country you're in. You can be here in Spain or be like it in Italy or somewhere and you see people drink and it's not a problem and you're not going to go and lecture them about alcohol because they're fine. Yeah. And then you go out to like like Newcastle or something on a night out in England and you're like, these people need to never touch alcohol again in their lives. They're, they're killing yeah. themselves and they're, this culture is broken and this is so yeah. poisonous. And it's not, it's two totally different experiences from the same substance. And that comes down to like your mindset and your culture and your genetics and you as an individual and so many other factors and what what you, your education on the subject and everything else that it's really dumb. I think, yeah, for them to just be like one pill killed her and stuff. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs>